Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. family welcome back to another vlog and this morning it's snowing check this out like when does it snow in april it's crazy almost end of april I wasn't expecting this you know what i mean i don't even have my snow brush in there it's like negative one right now or negative two and i think it'll go up to two or three degrees i guess that's canadian weather for you but today i kind of messed up i was supposed to wake up at 5 a.m. and then go to work a little bit early get there by like maybe 6 7 a.m. There's there's so much work. I just got I have to catch up to but um, Zyra had her own plans usually she sleeps till like from like 12 to 5 So I was like, okay, great. I'll sleep at 12. I'll wake up at 5, you know uh, It was Sana's night to take care of Zyra because I took care of her yesterday night, but then I told Sana it's okay, I'll take care of her. And um, because I was assuming she was gonna wake up at five, but she woke up at 3 a.m. So I got three hours of sleep, and then it took me like half an hour or 45 minutes to put her back to sleep. So, I mean, there wasn't really any way I was gonna get up at 5 a.m. And so I woke up at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. And I told Sana here, just uh, take care of Zyra for now. And then I went to sleep thinking I'll wake up in an hour, I didn't wake up till like 9 30 10. we still need to choose uh the giveaway winner so i am hoping to do so in in this video here and uh hopefully we'll have that package delivered to that person as well uh, the giveaway was uh the car seat the baby car seat and stroller it's just that it's been pretty it's been a pretty hectic last week and a half for us so hopefully uh, we'll, i'll get sana and i to sort of go through all the comments and uh finally choose one what's up said family welcome back to another vlog and i am doing a lot better now um last time you guys saw me i was not in such a good state but i'm doing better and my mom is doing better so while i have my chai and my toast um i basically wanted to kind of give you guys an update of what's happening with my family back home so my grandfathers both were in india and um they're i'm from hyderabad in india and in hyderabad the situation is really 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 bad hospitals don't have space like there's not enough hospitals um no there's no icu beds my cousin actually works in one of the big hospitals in hyderabad and she works in the icu and she was telling me how horrible it is They're, they don't even have enough oxygen tanks so oxygen tanks are on a low and with covid um what is happening is that the aftermath of covid even after covid leaves some pa patients are required to have oxygen tanks on them 24 7 even when they go home because their lungs are just not able to get back to what they were before covid and that's the sad situation right now back home and at least in Canada right now we're not that bad we do have oxygen tanks maybe we don't have enough ICU beds right now because COVID is going crazy over here too but we know we have the medical equipment back home it's not the case and that's why I'm so scared for like family back home because if you get sick and you can't find the medical stuff that you need or you can't uh, get an ICU bed then what are you gonna do right and I feel like back home people are not taking it as seriously. Like it's it was it's become like basically a common cold flu. It's like oh you have COVID. Oh this person has COVID. Oh this person has COVID. Nobody's taking it really seriously. Not wearing their masks and stuff like that. And so even I'm not talking about like random people. I'm even talking about like people I know from my family. And like people need to start taking this thing very seriously because. If you're not going to die from it, you're going to kill somebody around you from it. And that's the sad truth. And when I posted the video before this telling you guys about my grandfather's passing away, so many of you, so, so many of you left messages underneath that video. And also 
I posted it on Instagram and you guys DM me all your stories about your uh, family members who've passed because of COVID and there's so many people and it just hit me after I started reading all those messages that there's so many out, out there who've passed away or been affected by COVID and like some of the craziest like cases I've heard is like a woman who's pregnant, eight months pregnant, passed away because of COVID. Um, um, a girl lost her mom and her dad within the same month because of COVID. It's it's so sad and like it's messed up, you know what I mean? And we're living in this reality and we've been living in this reality for a couple of months now. Like actually it's been more than a year now and we might be living in this for another year. Who knows? And I feel like we all want to just be done with it and just like get back to our regular lives and just not have to deal with the lockdown you know, go back to seeing each other and doing our regular stuff. But the virus is a real thing and it is killing people. And just because you haven't been through it doesn't mean you're invincible. And I kind of like had that mentality that, oh, like, you know, I'm so done with it. I just want to get back to like our regular life. But I I took a step back after I lost my grandfather and I was like, oh, oh my God, like who is it gonna take next? And I wanna be careful because obviously I have a little baby and like there's so many women out there who have children who are pregnant and we could, you know, our bad decision could impact them. And so I'm glad that like a lot of you guys were out there who reached out to me and told me you guys story and I we're in this together and we will get past it eventually but not yet and yeah i just wanted to kind of give you guys that update and thank you guys so much for all the prayers and duas that you guys sent and all the mess sweet 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 messages that you guys left me in the last video it's really touching and if i keep talking about it i'm gonna start crying again so yeah let's just end it there i'm getting the house ready for mama and papa zed they're coming back from pakistan and so i'm just going to start organizing the house a little cleaning it up for them and maybe stocking up on groceries what they like and stuff so basically when they come back from pakistan they have to quarantine at a hotel uh for three days that's like a rule in canada right now so they'll be quarantining in a hotel for three days and then uh what happens is when they land they get tested for covid and then they have to wait three days in the hotel and once their result comes out negative then they can leave the hotel if it comes out positive they have to continue staying at the hotel i believe so yeah that's basically it they're gonna be here soon and um they basically cut their trip short um, i'm glad because i have heard a lot of stuff uh, about pakistan and india their covid over there is rampant and like everyone's getting sick and it's just crazy and even in canada it's pretty bad but you know um, at least they can come back here and get their vaccines. So we're gonna book their vaccines as well so they can come back and get get it. And as soon as the vaccine's available for people um, under 50, then Osama and I are gonna go get it as well. So yeah, that's pretty much the update of what's going on right now. I've been kind of telling my family members in India, I got my dad to get the vaccine as well. It's just, you know, not worth the risk and i i was watching this uh doctor talk about the vaccine and he was saying how you're 50 times more likely to die of covid than to die of the vaccine and so it's like wow you know why wouldn't you take it that zyra is taking a little nap in my room upstairs and cheddar is just chilling in the corner over there okay so i've just been cleaning up and Zara's been playing on her play mat, doing her tummy time, right, Bubba? Yes. Yeah, she's getting better and better at her tummy time, even though she still doesn't like to do it. She always flips herself over just to avoid doing tummy time. And then I have to flip her back. And so she like will stay like this for like maybe like a minute or two, and then she wants to be flipped over. <laughs> Look at that. Are you tired already? Are you tired already, Bubba? Are you tired already? But you look so cute. I know. Oh, so tired. Okay, let's go nap time now. Nap time now. Nap time now. Yes. Hi.
<laughs> She's like, turn me over. Okay, okay, let's turn over. All right, guys. So I just got to the office and I wanted to really show you a few pieces I've been working on. Basically, these pieces have just been casted, meaning they haven't been, you know, polished or, you know, the diamonds haven't been set, that sort of thing. They're in a very rough stage. Um, if you're wondering what the casting process is and where it falls in the manufacturing process, it's essentially the third step, I would say, because the first step is taking some reference pictures or a sketch and then making it into a 3D sort of model on on uh, on software that we use. And that software will give you a, a, a rendering of it, videos of it. That way you can see how this piece will come out. You can get a general idea of how these pieces will come out. So we take your imagination and, and kind of replicate it on, uh, on the computer. And then basically what happens from there is that we will take that uh, 3D model and do some 3D printing with it to make a mold. And then the next step after that is we take those 3D printed molds and then do a casting process where it's basically where we pour the gold, silver, platinum into those molds to give you that rough like shape of, of the jewelry, if that makes sense. All right guys, I just wanted to show you a couple of things I'm working on. This is a stone that we're going to be setting in a custom made band that's in the works right now. Beautiful stone here. And then we have a couple of things. So this, these are little charms that are gonna go on to um, basically an eight charm necklace. Uh, that's in the works, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. This one's gonna have little tiny stones in there it's going to look like an evil eye once it's completed this is also an arabic necklace that's being made and uh, i do have the chain here so we're going to assemble this polish it these are all pieces that have not been polished yet so what's happened here is we actually do a quality inspection and uh, this one failed the test so this piece for a client was uh, being set with diamonds and we found some structure issues with it and that's why it is actually in two pieces when we did some testing with it uh just make sure it's strong enough it wasn't so instead of just uh welding this back together and doing like a half-hearted fix what i decided to do was make a new one so this is going to be a much stronger uh better built ring essentially so we crafted it better we made the joining point stronger i just want to make sure you know my customers get the best of the best so that means that we have to redo it all over again that's uh definitely what my team here at zay jewels ends up doing so we tend to inspect it and if it doesn't meet our quality standards then uh, we don't ship it out to you in this case we had notified the customer that was the case and they were more than happy to wait for the new ring that we're making. What's up, little baby? Say hi. Both my little babies. Hmm? I just woke up. You just woke up, mom, darling? Mm -hmm. Huh, darling? Yes? <laughs> My baby, kya kar rahi thi? Huh? Huh, baby? Zyru? Your cheeks are getting oh. so... Oh, okay, okay. Nahi karte, nahi karte. Why do you my cheeks? Nahi karte. You can touch them. So basically... Been cleaning up, getting ready. Yeah. So basically, we have this one area where Auntie had cleaned it and left. And then. And then. I we, packed mostly my stuff here. This is Osama's stuff from his old office that he kind of brought and put it here before he takes it to his new office. And so we're trying to like quickly get rid of all this stuff before they come. Yeah. So we'll get that done. I'll, put, I'll store it downstairs in a corner where they can't see. <laughs> yeah. Basically. I want a little kissy from you. Can I have a kissy? How many baby? Mm -hmm. Little. Mm -hmm. Give me a kissy. Uh, uh. Give me a kissy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Look at her. Look at herself. She's looking at herself. Thank you. Who's that? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Do do time. You walk. Ready? You're gonna walk. Two, Cheddar. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. No more. Too much walking today. I know. So happy. Happy, happy. She's so heavy. My arms. Yeah, she's getting heavy now, right? The stuff I've been hoarding in the house for the last little month or so, but I'm gonna be taking it to the office. So, mom's gonna be happy to see this. 
Okay guys, so we haven't picked a winner yet for the stroller, so we're finally gonna pick one and we picked um, by the way, before I tell you guys who won the giveaway, it was really, really, really hard picking one yeah. person. I read through all you guys' comments, like, we were, like, so indecis indecisive. That's why this morning I was like, I, I kind of regret doing the, oh, we'll pick. I'd rather just do it randomized next time. I know. Because they're so, like, you know, like, I don't know. I felt like we had to give everyone something, you know, but we just can't do that. It was like, like some of the comments that you guys left and like, you know, some people really needed a stroller. Yeah, a lot of emotional. people really needed a stroller and a car seat. And I wish we had more than one to give away. Um, but yeah, so the winner for this car seat, um, we'll do more giveaways in the future, inshallah. But mm -hmm. the, way we get, uh, the winner is JMS Family Only. That's their YouTube name. And the Instagram handle is um, conversations about autism and I'll read you her comment it was very sweet um, she said I would love to win the stroller and car seat since I'm three months pregnant and I have a seven-year-old daughter who has severe autism life's been so difficult during this pe pandemic and it's been even more difficult since I'm living with abusive in-laws Watching your guys' videos gives me hope that maybe I could have a functional family of my own one day, even if we come from a Pakistani background. Much love to your family, and I hope Allah blesses you, your daughter, and your family. And a lot of you guys actually liked her comment, almost 78 likes on that comment, and I thought, you know, it's kind of something that we all picked together, and you guys yeah. chose out of all those comments to give that specific comment so many likes, and mm -hmm. that's kind of what you know, moved our decision to pick that person. So yeah, um, I'll be contacting her on Instagram and we'll be actually uh, taking that stroller and car seat to her. So congratulations to the person nice. who won. And um, we'll keep doing giveaways, so don't be sad. Stop doing that. Let's see if she does it for camera, okay? Here, Watch her eyes. Here's your pacifier. She knows when the camera is I know, she looks right at the camera. Now she's looking at you now. Okay. See? There you go. Stop okay. it, Zara. Don't do that with your eyes. She, <gasps> she learned how to cross her eyes oh, no, together no, and now she won't stop. No. Every time I give her a pacifier, she does this. You can't do that, Baba. You can't do that. It's no, not Baba. funny. It's not <laughs> funny. Don't scream mommy like that. Don't scream about me like that, please. <laughs> Hello. You look so cute in yellow. It's time to finish cleaning. Yep. Uh, Liva will. This one will be with Liva for a bit now. This so, really Zalo, what are you about to do? Um, well. Oh, the squirrel's here. What? Oh. Okay, there's a mad, crazy squirrel that keeps coming to our garbage. Okay, so look at the amount of garbage we have because this was all this furniture that Osama ordered for his new office. And then one day I forgot the garbage. So now what I'm going to do is I'm getting a truck tomorrow anyways to move all the stuff uh, to the office. So I'm going to go to the landfill and... <laughs> Just dump it there. Yeah, because I wanted to be clean. My dad's going to be like, what the heck happened? <laughs> also, I know that's the number one thing he's going to come and do is like worry about the garbage and the cardboard boxes. So I just don't want him to worry when he comes back. So all that will be clean. Chara, come before the squirrel attacks you. So now are you cleaning or making a bigger mess? Both. You emptied half of our supplies. <laughs> I know. I was holding it by the cap and it just fell. I hate when that happens. It smells good now. <laughs> He's playing with it. Yeah. 